Francis Thompson wrote a poem and it's called At Lords. It is little I repair to the matches of the southern folk, though my own red roses there may blow. It is little I repair to the matches of the southern folk, though the red roses crest the caps I know. For the field is full of shades as I near a shadowy coast, and a ghostly batsman plays to the bowling of a ghost. And I look through my tears on a soundless clapping host As the run-stealers flicker to and fro, to and fro. O oh, my Hornby and my Barlow long ago, Its Gloucester coming north, the irresistible, The Shire of the Graces long ago. Its Gloucestershire up north, the irresistible, and new risen Lancashire the foe. A shire so young that has scarce impressed its traces. Ah, how shall it stand before all restless graces? O oh, little red rose, their bats are as maces to beat thee down this summer long ago. This day of seventy-eight they are come up north against thee, this day of seventy-eight, long ago. The champion of the centuries, he cometh up against thee, with his brethren, every one a famous foe. The long-whiskered doctor that laugheth at the rules to scorn, while the bowler pitched against him, bans the day he was born. And G.F with his science makes the fairest length forlorn. They are come from the west to work thee woe. It is little I repair to the matches of the southern folk, though my own red roses there may blow. It is little I repair to the matches of the southern folk, though the red roses crest the caps I know. For the field is full of shades as I near a shadowy coast, and a ghostly batsman plays to the bowling of a ghost. And I look through my tears on a soundless clapping host, as the run stealers flicker to and fro, to and fro. Oh, my horn be my barlow. Long ago. Now, it means a lot where we come from, where we've been, what we are, who we are, what we believe in, fair play. And so we come again to Brexit and not cricket, not quite cricket, and this short poem. Block, 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 at the foot of thy wicket, O Scotton. And I would that my tongue would utter my boredom, you won't put the pot on. Oh, nice for the bowler, my boy, that each ball like a barn door you play. Oh, nice for yourself, I suppose, that you stick at the wicket all day. And the clock's slow hands go on, and you still keep up your sticks. But oh, for the lift of a smiting hand, and the sound of a swipe for six. Block, 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 at the foot of the wicket. Hard do, but one hour of grace, or Walter Reed, were worth a week of you.